Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist, this Feast of the Lord's Baptism. Liturgically, today marks the end of the Christmas season. The baptism of the Lord inaugurates His mission as Messiah, but Jesus reveals Himself not as a glorious figure, but one who is obedient to the Father and close to the poor and to sinners. Today's feast reminds us of our own baptism, which entails dying on our own sinful ways to rise up as beloved children of the Father. Our priest presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Rex Armenia. Let us all rise and greet our Mass celebrant and let us glorify the Lord by singing the entrance song. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on and earth, earth, peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you. We bless, bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the Jordan, in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, Grant that your children by adoption will be born of water and the Holy Spirit. May always be well pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. Isaiah describes the vocation, mission, and suffering of God's servant who will come to save his people. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased. 
upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised breed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench until he establishes justice on the earth. The, the coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I, I have grasped you by the hand I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from dungeons those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peter explains to the pagan Cornelius and his household that God has brought salvation to Jews and pagans alike through the mission of Jesus. The second reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, Whoever pursues him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism of John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel.
Alleluia, Alleluia. The heavens were opened and the voice of the Father thundered. This is my beloved Son. Listen to Him. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me. Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. We thank the Lord for uh, bringing us together again in this uh, place to celebrate this uh, Holy Eucharist, the Feast of the Baptism of uh, the Lord. We end the season of Christmas by uh, the celebration of the Baptism of uh, the Lord. Oh, Christmas pa. Pwede pang humabol yung ano yan, hindi pa nakapagbigay ng uh, regalo. Lalo na yung mga hinahunting ng kanilang mga inaanak. Gustong gustong magninong at ninang. Kaya lang pag Christmas eh nawawala. No? And of course, uh, thank the Lord for uh, Well, for the gift of light that we are still alive at tayo ay uh, uh, nakatawid no, sa bagong taon ng 2020. Amen? So, pwede niyong sabihin sa katabi ninyo, no, I'm happy that you are still alive today. Oh, yan, very good. So, Mga kapatid, no? we have uh, Isaiah the prophet in the first reading telling us about the mysterious servant favored by God, filled with the Holy Spirit, who will work for the salvation of people. He will make the blind see. He will liberate people from imprisonment and He will restore justice to the nations. And this uh, servant will do it in a gentle, humble, quiet way. And uh, we all know that uh, this uh, servant of God is fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Christ. Now, uh, we have uh, St. Peter no? talking about, again, the salvation of, uh, of people offered by God to all, not only to the Jews, but also to the Gentiles. And in order to convince that uh, his audience that God is serious about His saving plan, no? He singled out, St. Peter singled out, the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ as a sign or a significant event in order to understand the saving work of God in our Lord Jesus Christ. Now we have this... Uh, Gospel reading telling us about uh, John the Baptist baptizing our Lord Jesus Christ. No? And uh, of course, no, John 
knows that uh, Jesus Christ is the Messiah. He is the Lamb of God. He is the Lamb of God. And uh, He is sinless. And yet, He wants to undergo the baptism being administered by John. And what was the baptism administered by John? Baptism of repentance. But Jesus Christ lines up with the sinners. And John tried to prevent him, saying, Siya dapat ang bibinyagan. But you are here, coming to me, na magpapabinyag. No? And what was the response of Jesus? Allow it now. Ito ay plano ng Diyos. in order to fulfill God's righteousness. O kaya, si Jesus Christ ay nagpabinyag. And when Jesus you know, immerses Himself in the water, uh, parang nandun yung, nandun yung pagkamatay Niya, no sa kasalanan ng mga tao. Kasama yung kasalanan ng mga tao sa kanyang paglubog sa tubig. And water is a symbol of life. And when Jesus emerged from the water, there is new life being offered to everyone. So the baptism of Jesus is a sign of His passion death and resurrection, the Paschal Mysteries. Kaya ganun ka-importante yung binyag. And the baptism of Jesus reminds us of our own baptism that uh, all of us died. All of us died on our sins when we were baptized. And we rose to new life. nung tayo ay mabinyagan. So, new life is being offered by God to everyone who wants to undergo baptism. And uh, the significance of this event is that all of us are partners of Jesus. As baptized, we are all partners in the plan of God in saving all. Tamang-tama, this year, ano bang year ngayon sa simbahan? Year, tapos na tayo ng year of the youth. This year, ano ba ngayong year? May sumigaw? Father, year of uh, the rat. <laughs> year of ecumenism, interreligious dialogue, and indigenous people. So, yan ang focus for this year para sa ating uh, preparation for the 500-year uh, uh, celebration of uh, the arrival of the Christian faith in the Philippines. O kaya, let us be, uh, have this uh, initiative no, to reach out to our brothers and sisters who do not belong to our, to our faith. No? Yan ay uh, kagaya ng mga... born again Christians, those believers kay Jesus Christ na hindi kasama sa ating Catholic Church, yan ay, uh, ay, yan ay tinatawag, kapag mayroong activity, yan ay tinatawag na ecumenical gathering. Yung interreligious dialogue naman sa mga Muslims, no? those who don't believe in Jesus Christ. Ano yung, uh, ano yan? Ang objective is unity. Unity. And then, not to fight with them in the name of uh, of faith, of religion. So, ito ay magandang uh, uh, pagkakataon na yung God is a God for all. And His grace of salvation is for everybody. And all of us, we are partners 
in offering the grace of salvation, in working for the salvation of others. Wag naman tayong maging partners in uh, the damnation of other people. No? But we should be partners of the, of the Lord in offering salvation to everybody. At uh, nakakatuwa po na uh, itong uh, 2019 ay napakaganda rin no, sa simbahan na pinaglilingkuran ko na kinaigakwento ko nga, nga sa inyo. No, yung malaking miracle talaga na na-recognize ng mga taga doon sa amin, tuwang-tuwa kami noong uh, first simbang gabi. First day ng simbang gabi ay air condition ako yung chapel namin. na 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 ano na realize yung uh, dream namin na ma-aircon yung uh, simbahan. O kaya uh, tuwang-tuwa kami na ganun ang nangyari. Na five years ang plano sa takbo ng uh, tu- sa takbo ng fundraising. Uh, but uh, you know, no, yung uh, commanding general ng army ay uh, siya ay hindi Catholic, no? Siya ay Protestant. Yun ay malaki yung support niya na ibinigay doon sa sa amin no. O ganun po 'yan no. Makikita mo na kahit hindi ka kapadalig sa ating simbahan, we can be partners. In sharing God's grace of salvation to other people, especially the lost, the last and the least. Kaya ako, after ng uh, Christmas Day, ako rin ay nakita ko may mga offerings sa simbang gabi. Tayo ay pumunta rin dun sa, sa Bicol. Alam niyo naman, ang Bicol ay dinada, dinaanan ng bagyo. Wala pa ngang kuryente yung aking pinuntahan doon para makapag outreach program din. Of course, sabi ko, makipaglaro lang tayong basketball at mamigay ng... Uh, Ah, uh, niyan yung mga groceries, uh, offerings. Sabi nung ano yan, no, sister in law ko, di ba kailangan may misa? O nga naman, inisip ko agad yung laro. No, yung laro pa man din eh sabi ko maganda rin na mayroong pusta. Pero alam niya yung pusta, sikreto lang talaga yon na matalo manalo ibibigay pa rin namin doon sa mga kalaro, no? yung uh, ano yan, yung pusta na yon hmm? sabi pa man din father pwede bang 2200 ang pusta ako pwedeng 2000 lang <laughs> o kasi tatapatan din at bibigay din sa kanila pero hindi nila alam pero natalo namin sila sa laro no so pa, pa, sa aming mga outreach program palagi kaming talo sa basketball uh, pero nanalo kami last uh, last month no sa asa yung pagpinuntahan naming upland barangay no na nagmas, naglaro, nagbigay ng uh, groceries. At uh, sabi nung si Sireno ko, di ba may pakain din din dapat? O kaka ko Jollibee na lang para naman yung mga taga bukid ay umakapag Jollibee. Sabi nung barangay chairman, sana bumalik pa kayo dito next year ulit, Father. Nako, sa iba naman yata ang barangay. <laughs> Kapag ba uh, dumating na biyayan. But you know, no? makikita natin mga kapatid, no? na tayo, let us be instruments in sharing God's grace and blessings to every one. So regardless of religious uh, affiliations, we are all expected by the Lord as baptized to become partners in saving all people. Amen? At this point, we will be having the commissioning of the Extraordinary Ministers of the Holy Communion and the Lectors and Commentators Ministry. May we request the Extraordinary Ministers to... My brothers and sisters, may I present to you our brothers who have completed the formation seminar of Extraordinary Ministers of Holy Communion 
under the auspices of the Pasig Diocesan Liturgical Affairs. They have been called to serve as extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion for the Feast SM Aura and Light of Jesus Family. May I call on the extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion to please rise. Dear friends in Christ, our brothers, My brothers and helpers in the service, you have to be, be models of Catholic uh, living in modern worship and the way you live. Strive to be holy by means of being true to this sacrament of love and unity. As ministers of Holy Communion, keep in mind that you are the disciples of the sacrament of the immeasurable love of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have himself as a sacrifice of his precious body. He gave his disciples the great commandment of love. Love one another. He said, as I have loved you, may your service in the sacrament of the Eucharist be a true reflection of your personal effort to love God and your fellow men just as Christ loves. In the same way that this sacrament unites you even now with God through Christ, may your faithful service reward you with life everlasting in the company of our Father. Are you resolved to undertake the office of extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, the duty and responsibility of giving Holy Communion in our community and give the sacrament to the sick and the viaticum to the dying? I am. Um, Are you resolved to perform the duty of giving the body of all Lord Jesus Christ to your brothers and sisters and to serve for the benefit of our Holy Mother Church? I am. Are you ready to serve Holy Communion with utmost care and reverence? I am. The extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, please be seated. May we request the lectors and commentators to please all stand. Your reverence, may I present to you our brothers and sisters who have completed the requirements information seminar for lectors and commentators conducted under the Pasig Diocesan Ministry for Liturgical Affairs and have been called to serve as lectors and commentators for the Feast SM Aura and the Light of Jesus Family. They await your acceptance for their blessing. Dear friends in Christ, our brothers and sisters as lectors and commentators, are to be given the great privilege of proclaiming God's word in the liturgy. Through them, God will speak to his people of the salvation and redemption won for them by the Lord Jesus, so that there is by his word, the people will grow in the love and the knowledge of God. You have been called to proclaim the word of God. You take on a special office within the Christian community will be given a responsibility in the service of the faith, which is rooted in the Word of God. And you will proclaim that Word in the litur liturgical assembly. In uh, so doing, you are sharing in the church mission to preach the good news to all peoples. May God's Word be living and active in your lives, that you may worship the living God in spirit and in truth. In proclaiming God's Word to others, Accept it yourselves in obedience to the Holy Spirit. Meditate on it constantly so that each day you'll have deeper love for the Scripture and all you say and do. Show forth to the world our Savior, Jesus Christ. Are you willing to become a minister of the Word and proclaim God's Word to the people assembled in this church? I, I am. am. Are you willing to prepare each proclaiming of God's word by study and prayer? I am. Are you resolved to live your daily lives in accordance with the word of God that you will proclaim? I am. May we request the le lectors and commentators and the extraordinary ministers of the Holy Eucharist to please kneel. Heavenly Father, Spirit of truth, we thank you for the, your grace to be at your service. Shower upon us your blessings, blessings that, that we may make your word and body 
a living reality in our lives, that by our words and deeds we proclaim your work in the fullest light to everyone we meet and pray for your grace that we may persevere in our personal commitment to your will until the end. Amen. Please all rise. Let us uh, pray that the kindness of Almighty God will pour out on you an abundance of grace. Loving Father, you have made us members of the body of Christ, bestowed on us by your Holy Spirit, and called us to holiness and service. Look kindly upon this man and women who have responded to your call and have chosen to serve you as extraordinary ministers of the Holy Communion and lectors and commentators. Fill them with your love and the true joy that we can only find in serving you. Let them manifest your Son, Jesus Christ, and guide them in the path to holiness. Let their love and service for you be a sign and example for all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please all rise. A round of applause to our extraordinary ministers and lectors and commentators. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and, and I, I look, look forward, forward to the, the resurrection, resurrection of the dead, of the dead and, and the life, life of the, the world, world to come. come. Amen. Jesus, Jesus Christ came to be baptized in the Jordan so that through the cleansing waters of baptism, we might heal our sinful nature. Let's now pray to the Father that we may live up to our dignity as children of God. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May the people of God have a renewed appreciation of the sacrament of baptism, which is the foundation of communion among all Christians. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May we be faithful to our baptismal calling to be other Christ who continue his mission of doing good to people around us. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May parents and godparents be faithful to their duty in bringing up children in the knowledge of the faith and in obedience to God's commandments, we pray. Lord, listen to your people. May those who exercise authority learn from the example of Christ, who followed God's will in humility and service, we pray. Lord, listen to your people. May the Lord keep in safety those who travel today, give comfort to the sick and the suffering, and welcome to paradise the faithful departed, we pray. Lord, listen to your people. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions and all intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. 
Lord, listen to your people. Heavenly Father, grant that we may be faithful to Jesus, to whom we belong, by our baptism in water and the Spirit. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We will now have the offering of the bread and wine, symbols of the fruit of our hard-earned labor of the week. Please join in the singing of the offertory songs. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to you, honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of Him who will in His compassion to us away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders and you baptism so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us and by the Spirit's descending. In the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. All sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All sana in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in this passion, 
he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Mother Hubert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life May praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all rise. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing.
deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace you. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With a smile, we offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you, called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For orderly communion, please be seated and wait for the ushers to guide you.
Jesus Christ. We pray. Nourished with his sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Please stay, join us in worship, and listen to a special talk entitled, You Already Won After the Mass. Let your children ages 8 and above experience learning while having fun and trust them to the kids' ministry while you listen to the talk. Look for Liz, Jang, Christian, or Isa at the reception area outside this venue. And let us all give a round of applause and thank our Mass celebrant, Father Rex Armenia, for celebrating the Holy Mass. Thank you very much, Father. Please all rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those you call to strive for heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have offered the Eucharist. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs>
Good evening, Feast. Come on, you can do better than that. Good evening, Feast. First of all, can I invite you all to stand up? Come on, let's get up on our feet. And for those who are at the back or maybe you're just nearby, you can take the seats here in front. They're just they're just vacant. You can move here in front. Come on, let's move here in front. For the blessings of God are felt. Hallelujah. All right. Can you just greet the person beside you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I know that I know that it's a routine for us to just exhort and to just lead you in worship. But I'm gonna introduce something different. Would it be okay if we anchor ourselves into the Word of God? Is that alright? Come on, I can't hear you. Is that alright? Alright. So, I'm gonna read to you a beautiful psalm. A beautiful psalm that says, Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise His name. Proclaim His salvation day after day. Declare His glory among the nations, His marvelous deeds among all people. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He, he is to be feared above all gods. For all the for all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before.